Hi, this is Sue from Stamping Sue in Connecticut. Blogspot.com. Today we're going to do a two for one card. Here's a couple samples. It's very easy to do. I saw this done over on Jennifer McGuire's blog, and I just couldn't wait to try it out. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half. I just kind of scored and folded it in half so I could see the middle. You could also put a pencil mark there if you like. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to layer some images on. I stamped this all to new flower. It's called an anemone. And it's uh, one of those layer stepped cards. And I also used the Hallel from this Altenew set. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some, just some uh, glue. I like to use the wet glue so I can move it around if I have to. I'm just going to put some glue on the back of the flower and then just arrange it on the card. Make sure you hit the, the middle of the card. I decided to do a multicolor one today. So, here we go. And now the second one, just gonna kinda do it. You can overlap it, put it in a little different position. Let's see, maybe we'll turn this one this way. And now I'm going to uh, carry some flowers over this way. Just like so. And I might even put one more, but I think I'll put another gray one. Now you don't want to put too much glue so it squishes out. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue. And I'm going to put this one here. I'm just going to flip it over, give it a press. To get all the flowers down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. And we'll get two cards out of it. The easiest way for me to do it is to just flip it over and then I can see the crease line. And I'm going to set that in, in here like so. But if you need to, you could always take a pencil and do a little mark on the crease line. So here it is right here and right here. So now I'll put that in my cutter. and slice it down. And then you get two cards for the price of one. Here it is together. You take it apart and you have two card fronts. And now all you're going to do is just cut off any excess And cut off the excess here. You could use your cutter, but I'm just using my scissors. And these are old scissors. And they're, they are gunked up with some glue. But every once in a while I give them a good wash. Just to clean them off. And there you have it. Two cards for the price of one. And then you can just make them into 
finished cards. Okay. What I'll do is I'll do it one more time. So again, where's the pencil? Here is the middle. I'll mark both sides because I like to flip it over when I cut it. Okay. So now we'll just take and again we'll glue some flowers on there. And this time we'll put a little more flowers on. So now this one will go like this. Let's see. I don't know if I have enough to do all the same color, so we'll mix them up a little. Here's a yellow and orange. Stick that on there like so. Another pink one. This time we'll put a flower on each side over on the bottom. So we'll put one over here and then we'll take another one and put it down here. Or put I think we'll put it on top and just see how that looks. Okay. So now we'll give them a little press. So there we go. What we're going to do is turn it over again and cut it in half. So we have our pencil marks. So we just line them up and give it a good cut. And there we have our two cards again. There's one and there's two. So we just cut off the excess like we did last time. Take the other one. Got the Overflow. Then we got two more cards. And we have plenty of flowers left to do more. So there's four card fronts that we can put together into cards. And there's the finished ones. So thank you for stopping by today for the two-for-one cards. See you again next time.